an ultimate warrior. As a rookie in the PBA, he averaged 20 points and 13 and a half rebounds. It's dominant in his first year. Can score from the outside, can create from the outside. The score with, with either hand um, in and around the basket. Major pain, <laughs> hard worker. He'll give you 25 points and 12 rebounds with his eyes closed. Every game, like, you know, he's coming in dominating, getting inside position on you, rebounding over you, and then the coaches are getting mad at you. Why are you letting him do that to you, you know? There's one tribute I'd like to give him that also my father saw in him was he seemed to be mentally tough. Being a big man, there's a lot of jostling for position. There's a lot of elbows and a lot of extra, you know, bumping that goes around. But you don't really see him complain. You know, I have never seen him complain in his career. He's always the first guy in the gym, always working on his game. Every single practice, he competed as if, you know, he needed to win. Each possession, he treats it like a war. He loves the game. He loves everything about it. And he did all he could to be the best. I always assumed that his practices were like five hours long because he put extra work in before practice started and extra work in after as well. That takes it and try! He honors the game, he honors the PBA, he honors the fans. On behalf of the PBA, I'd like to thank you very much, Eric May, for your contribution in the last 17 years. You've been a very, very prime example of how a basketball player should be. Mom and I are, are really proud also of how you've carried yourself on the basketball court through all these years, as well as in your personal life. Natuwa ako na nato kitang maglaro ng basketball. 